All right, full house today, Mrs. You good? Yay! Pushing the button. Yay! <laughs> All right, hi, Mrs. Hello, hello. All right, like I said, full boat today. Full, boat full today. house. Everybody's in here. I like it. Uh, okay, how's it going? Everything's set up beautifully. I enjoy the energy. It's going great. Uh, the energy's nice. All right, so are you. Let's see here. I'm going <laughs> to keep it on this camera for a second because look what isn't there. Don't worry about us. It'll come back. Uh, in the meantime, to some other camera. There we go. Sorry about that, everybody. Sorry about that, Mrs. Today is Wednesday, <laughs> January 8th, 2020. 2020. It only took two shows. That's fantastic. Uh, my name is Jay Ryan. This is Nicole Ryan. We are the Ryans. This is Late Night Playset, and uh, welcome back to it. Uh, tonight, our guest is uh, uh, Do you prefer comedian, actor, actor, comedian? He doesn't give a shit. Doesn't give a shit. Couldn't care less. Jeremy Hotz is here. Hots, Hotz, Hots. It is Hots. I said Hots all day, and then I thought I heard somebody say Hotz before. Yeah, hmm. we're wrong. Oh, well, he says we're wrong. <laughs> he should have come in here and said it. He doesn't uh, care, but he's an actor. He's a comedian. We know his face from a lot of funny things, and you will, too. He'll be in here in a few minutes to uh, help us get to know him. And in the meantime, Mrs. Ryan, what is going on with you? How are you doing, other than looking fabulous in your alma mater outfit? Thank you, thank you. Uh, just uh, My head's feeling great. I'm getting a lot done up there. How did you, uh, well, the show went up so late last night, but uh, how did you, what did you think of it? What did you think of your part of it? I, There's no wrong answer here, I'm just curious. It was curious okay. how you felt about your head yesterday. I thought it was fine in the moment, and mm -hmm. I, looking back, it was not. Yeah, nothing bad, though. Nothing wrong, nothing Just bad. Just ditzy, and we watch a lot of Terry Gar and David Letterman. I sometimes. knew it. I knew it. I felt that. And I, the, the Dons, Don Giller, and the yeah. Don Giller YouTube channel, highly recommend. It's got like 60 million views or something like that. Uh, highly recommend. He, um, he's sort of the master who has all of the old David Letterman archives, and, uh, and he puts up all these compilations. And the other day, he put up five different libraries each like two hours of terry gar's appearances on david letterman now of course we've leaned into that since day one here's the the david letterman guy and then the <laughs> ms girl who's just beautiful and adorable and a little bit ditzy sometimes but it's not ditzy it's just kind of like ms moments but nobody knew that watching those things so anyway that's the backstory you think uh uh having that influence maybe it carry, helps carry me through. understand myself better, which is all I need right now. Because I spent dec literally decades not paying attention to myself at all, looking at uh, everyone else and planning everyone because else's of your work. world and who I was and like who, whatever. I'm super different, but I'm leaning into the ditziness. And when we watch the Terry stuff, I see how Dave makes her emotions jittery. And I don't think that happens in other, I've seen other interviews and other things. It doesn't happen. But we have similar, she was a dancer. We come from similar background type similar, things. Yeah. And so I'm really leaning into what that, uh, owning that ditziness. Because I see in her where it can come from sometimes. And it's great. And I love her. I love her too. I love her too. Uh, came up the other day because she was she went to the hospital. I think luckily it was dehydration, nothing too serious. But uh, you know, she's a local. She literally grew up <laughs> right down the street here on the map, and uh, uh, and then she still lives locally. So uh, when you know you hear something like that, we're such fans and like a local. You know, we, whatever. God bless you, Terry Gar. We love you. I hope you're doing okay. Lots of love, man. Um, Mrs. Ryan, I don't have anything else for the holos other than I am really excited to get our guest in here because I, in typical fashion, I didn't look him up ahead of time until this morning. And then I saw the <laughs> face and I was like, I know that guy. And then blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, yeah. And I know you specifically know him from one project we're going to talk about yeah. uh, pretty big. So uh, that's all I have. That's all I have. Okay. Uh, it's time to press the Dave Watch button. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it had a name till now. <laughs> <laughs> There we are, back here. Okay. Uh, is there any update on uh, Dave Watch, Mrs. Ryan? No, sir, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Ben. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Hopefully we don't have Gosh, I could do that forever. Hopefully we don't have to. I love it. I love it. Uh, uh, I only have some East Coast tweets to do today. That's all I have. How Okey about you? Doke. That, that's it. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that and try to truncate my part of this nonsense. No, I think you're great. I think you are great. I had a, a you know, in t- typical fashion, I had a little technical thing that while I was trying to do one thing, something else, and you know how it is. So, um, I appreciate that. I'm fantastic, but I'm taking stock of everything now. And part of that is like, what do I say sometimes? Is that you being more present? Is that you figuring out yourself and like holding your own self more accountable? Yes, and letting not worrying about my legs, my physicality, which is really gets in my way a lot. I love you for that. I love you for not letting that hold you back. Thanks. It literally can hold you back. So if you're not letting it mentally hold you back, that's amazing. Working on it. That's my 2020 goal. Love it. All right, East Coast feed. Let's see where they are. Okey Roll dope. it out. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Roll it out. Mr. and Mrs. Ryan. Kazman, Brooks upstairs, we'll get there. And Michael Kaz. What up? Um, <laughs> random wannabe East Coast feed. So Michael and I are sitting here and we hear this bong, like outside, bong, bong. And, and I, said to, I said to Michael, I'm like, is that outside? And he's like, yeah. And then I was, Brooke, we're trying to get Brooke involved. Hold on a second here. Hey, Brooke, did you hear that 55 gallon drum toss? <laughs> you didn't hear it? Brooke. Bodies. <laughs> <laughs> we go back to Michael's room. So that was Brooke. She's like uh, kind of unconscious. Um, we we actually went to dinner and we had a good time. But um, I didn't go. Michael didn't go. I didn't go. No, no, we went to dinner. Oh it was God. a good time. But <laughs> I think she's really, really, really exhausted because we literally went from eleven hours of work to dinner and then we're just getting home and it's fucking late. That was it. What? That was about it. The fifty-five gallon. Yeah. They're Twizzlers. Oh no, because. No, because Jay knows the 55-gallon drum toss. It was a oh, thing. Oh, back to the point. Nicole, okay. talk about it. Bye. Oh, wow. Yeah, and make it my problem. Great. Throws it back to me. Oh. All right. Uh, it's a joke I made up a long, long time ago. He used to live, the place he's in now, he owns that place, and it's like four stories. It's one of those townhouses, and it's like a garage, and then three stories of living. It's a huge place. But he used to live in this little uh, apartment place. This is all Danbury, Connecticut, for the for the East Coasters. And uh, uh, he used to live in this old apartment, and there was uh, people who lived below. And I was over one time visiting, which was very frequent and uh and oh my god the sound downstairs and all this crazy shit I was like, what is that and he's like oh that's the downstairs neighbors don't mind them they do this every night around this time and i was like what the hell it sounds like an olympic event it's like a 55 gallon drum toss i was like just sort of like a quick riff of that's the fastest thing i came up with with what it sounded like he's held on to it because I, I made that comment about 20 years ago <laughs> maybe more for some reason he still uses it i like it but here's the explanation okay uh one more Let's see where they are Roll it out. Mr. and Mrs. Ryan broke in the cabin. Shh. <laughs> Stay with me. Out of the count. But we're watching Drunk History, and guess who we saw, Mr. Ryan? Watch this here. Look who's on. fucking Oscars! Wait for it. Wait for it. Oscars. Don't mind the language. Shut up. Wait for it. I Cue it up, mister. <laughs> your boy's coming. Oh, Rick oh it's Rick Overton. There he was, your boy Rick Overton. He was on your show. Just wanted to send you some random love or uh, oh, watching drunk history. And there's Noel and Mike. Hi, right. See? And even Mike woke up for you guys. That was it. Brooke's cleaning because she just woke up as well. That was it. Uh, <laughs> drunk Lord. history, random, random week, uh, weekend night here at Casa de Cast. Brooke of the Cast, man. Leaves these into the music. Oh, my. what on earth was that? I don't know. That's, uh, <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Holy crow! I've not seen anything like that. All right, well, you guys, I like the BMW check-in. That was a little crazy. Uh, who was sleeping on the couch? Did you get that? Uh, something M. What, uh, some lady's name that started with M. I don't know. Think I know them. No worries. That was a riot. Uh, okay, Mrs. Ryan, it's time to ask the question that's on everyone's mind. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it is. But it's the same problem as the last one. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do this. And I'm going to do this. And then it'll be back. <laughs> What's going on, Mrs. Ryan? Oh, God, you're adorable. Look at you. Take it away. Dogs 
uh, have been found to reduce the adult rate of schizophrenia by if they were around when they were when people were kids. Oh. This there's a study at Johns Hopkins that's uh, all these studies are. It's all the college kids. It's super. They're they're taking shit that we thought we knew really well to the next level. So oh yeah, sure, yeah, the next generation going deeper than we did. Right. So sure. there is an interplay. They're looking at the immunology and the counteract interactions between pets and immunology and what how that affects your mental state. I just have to tell you, I'm sorry to interrupt, but there's a dog running around here right now. We have cats. It's very funny, but a dog just ran by when you said that. <laughs> Our guest today brought a dog. I think the dog's going to come in here as well, but that was pretty funny. So yeah. please continue. That's super neat. Well, that, we're going to find out a lot of that stuff, and a lot of that uh, immunology research really, I think, is part of why I'm fakakted and set mm-hmm. up weird. Um, so I'm glad they're looking into it, but they're taking pet study to the next step and to do research from my experience, my background, Michigan. Mm-hmm. Um, the studies are, you're, you're taught to study one thing and then you turn in the results and you're not always set to follow up what else comes of that study. It's just like, yes or no, what I set out to prove is true or not. Oh, yeah, I see. Well, yeah, sure, because you're trying to prove your hypothesis. Right, so the next step of evolution is like, okay, and that's what you found, and then what else? So they're looking into that. So I love that they're looking at the interaction of immunology, but it just starts with the extremes, like schizophrenia. There was a time we didn't know what the blame brought Blaine, brain, I can't say, I can't even say it. Blood the brain blame, barrier. Yeah, I still can't say it. The brain blood barrier that you said. Yeah, blood, we yeah. didn't know that was a thing. Mm-hmm. It's all smaller. different now. Yeah. Um, there, okay, it's, uh, similarly speaking, since everyone's taking every study to the next degree, mm-hmm. now that cannabis is legal in so many states, yeah, the research is starting, and they're finding new can- cannabinoids. Oh, no kidding. The, uh, in nature or in the body? In the plant, in okay. the marijuana plant. Because um, at first they thought the one that THC is the one that was found and given a name. And like, this is what makes you high. And that's what people really leaned into to like find CBD and like make products and stuff. Mm-hmm. Now they're finding there's more than 60 cannabinoids. And some of them what have they think much. They, were before? they didn't look at them. They didn't. Oh, we didn't know how many. Didn't there was know. a few. Now we know there's 60 at least. At least 60, and they're finding that there's more to that plant than just THC. It's, and some of them have higher <laughs> everything properties. Is, everything is in 4D today. <laughs> Everything's, <laughs> that yeah. dog is smoking. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Whatever. There's going to be lots of new studies. Um, and then last, okay, uh, speaking of Terry Gar, she was in Young Frankenstein. Oh, yeah? That's my favorite thing she was in. Well, I shouldn't say that. I've loved all of her movies, but man, I love that Franken- young Frankenstein. It was roll, roll, roll in the, the movie was like 1974, and you showed mm-hmm. it to me. But mm-hmm. uh, there was a stage production done in 2009. Sure. Uh, ABC is going to make it a live TV event. Oh, okay. So that'll be out sometime this year. I'm just excited to see. I didn't know about that ABC's property killing until it. we met. ABC's killing it with those live things that Jimmy Kimmel with the. Uh, 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 you know, live before a st- live before a studio audience, the Norman Lear shows. Love that. Love yeah. that. They're Richard doing Chandler helping stuff. today. Norman Lear. He's fuck, why can't you be here every day? <laughs> he's the yeah. extension of my brain. I can never think of the actual name or the word, and he's got it right there. I know. I know. You guys are very symbiotic that way. Oh, and that's been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's been. What's going on, Mrs. Ryan? Man, that's funny. Uh, okay, that's it. We're done, right? We're done. I mean, until the guest? Yeah. All right. Well, in that case, Jeremy Hotz is going to be in here in a few moments. <laughs> he doesn't care if he's a comedian or an actor because he's both. Uh, what's the dog's name? Shaq? Shaq. Shaq is going to be in here as well. Is it Shaq Hotz? It's actually Shackleton. Shackleton. Oh, it's okay. Well, we'll get into all of this in a few minutes. <laughs> all right. <laughs> More to come right after this. Jeremy Hotz will be in that chair and we're going to get to know. Him. See you then. so delicious it's the hot sauce made by bears garlic and serrano mixed with love and care you can put it on your eggs pour it on your rice it's great on a leg it's better on a slice it's oh so delicious it's the hot sauce made by bears
Oh, so delicious hot sauce. Great on everything except oatmeal. Get your bottle today at ohsodelicious.org. One dollar from every bottle sold goes to the National Military Family Association. Humphrey Bogart, right? Still Woody Allen. Oh, I Two. see. He's in the corner. Shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was one of those, uh, you know, Can you imagine? <laughs> That's how big a deal we are. That would be awesome. <laughs> we had like one of those Super Bowl. I think we should work on that. You know? All right, Jeremy Hotz, it is a pleasure to Hello. meet you. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah, let's yeah. Tra- talk into the we'll mic. Yeah, you know? those yeah. for you. As if I don't work with one of these in front of my face every time I go on stage. I'm just sitting back here going, he's got the best mic in the world. I'm sure he's picking this up because I talk so loudly. <laughs> well, Thanks. So who is this with you here? This is Shackleton, the Wonder Dog. Here he is right here. Yeah. And he's a rescue. I rescued him. They brought him into the vet. And uh, I took him. <laughs> and, and he's not a papillon. He's a long-haired chihuahua. He's a long-haired chihuahua is what he is. He's eight pounds of fury. Eight pounds is pretty good for if a If you're a field chihuahua. mouse, you don't have a chance. <laughs> yeah. He also doesn't like uh, 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 people on skateboards. Oh, he'll go right for the ankle. Oh, so what, oh, when I was a kid, dogs the... would chase cars and stuff, but this guy's maybe a little smaller, He's so smaller. we're going after the skateboards. Yeah, you know, he'll chase like a skateboard. He'll chase like something smaller. You know the you know the little Fisher Price phone that you pull. Yeah, I, remember I got that. one of those. I pull that around. He chases. He hates that it thing. Would ring when you pull yeah, he it. hates that thing. Oh he just hates gracious. it. He just chases it and barks at it. He doesn't under, doesn't understand why the phone makes that sound. How would you say he's enjoying this experience? I don't think he cares. I, think he, <laughs> I wouldn't say it's amazing. I think he's, uh, you know, I don't think it's wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, there he is. <laughs> He's just looking for the exit. How do I get out of here? Does, uh, do, uh, we have cats, or we have a cat at least. Yeah, don't uh, tell is, him. Is, I mean, I was good God. Ask, does he, we keep things pretty clean because we have people here every day, mm-hmm. but does he, I mean... He probably smells the cats and stuff. Oh, yeah. He's been hanging around where the cat has walked, I suppose, (laughs) just waiting for it. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, trying to surprise it. He's got a plan. Look at him. Look at him. He's a wild animal. You don't understand. He looks very calm right now, but he's actually, you know. You ever watch those nature shows on the... (laughs) Yes. Gorgeous. Yes. You should see what he does in the middle of the night. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, well, okay, we recognize your face immediately. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Certainly from... <laughs> from, from <laughs> it still hasn't changed. It's still the same. I think it's really holding me back. <laughs> but we know you from comedy. I know you from commercials. And there's a movie. <laughs> oh, I've done some movies, yeah. You've done some movies, I've but there's a movie movies. that's one of Mrs. Ryan's absolute favorites. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, God. It's going to be the fabulous... It's the Speed franchise, I'll say that. Jeez, no. Speed, Speed 2. Oh, my God. Speed yeah. 2. The one with the boat, yes. <laughs> yes, but your character is one of the memorable parts <laughs> yeah. of that movie. It's it one is. of the reasons Because people look like at it. me and go, why is this man in this movie? <laughs> it's very <laughs> memorable. That's what no. you remember. <laughs> I happen. To I was the comic relief. You were the from the movie <laughs> Clue. You were the guy, the butler who was between all of these different characters. He called me the butler. Well, you're a purser. A I guess, purser. On a boat, yeah, a it's boat. a boat. It's a but, but you in know. Clue. It was a butler. So I'm comparing you to that character. Okay, who Clue. Was a butler, who I wish I would have been in Clue. <laughs> What was it like, Speed 2? Where did they do that? Was it a big production? Well, it was the second one, so it wasn't as good as the first one. <laughs> was it a big production, though? Oh, yeah. The first one they didn't know would be as big a movie as it became. No, the second one they spent all the money and, and for no <laughs> real reward. <laughs> for, those, for those who don't know at home, it wasn't a bus in the second one. It was a cruise ship. It was a boat, you see, and it was traveling, and the uh, you know Speed 2, and the boat travels about, I don't know, five miles an hour, <laughs> and it's moving towards an island, and no one thinks of jumping off the boat. There you Go. What are we going to do? Yeah, there you go. That's the major flaw in the film right there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but fantastic cast. You worked with some 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 pe- big people on that. I did. I worked with Willem Dafoe. Hit me in the face with a golf club by mistake once. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. That well, really happened? It is a little bigger than most people's noses. I don't know why. I don't know why that happened. <laughs> Chesler's, I'm not going to repeat that. <laughs> you know, he They're just friends. waits. No, we're not. Uh, did you really? I, I needed this, a lift. <laughs> I think he kills you with a golf club. Not no, I, I don't. I don't die in the movie. Oh, really? No, you gave up on it. It was so garbage <laughs> that you <laughs> thought I died. I was I the only good it. thing in it, and you went, "I'm not watching this anymore." But actually, I I come out of the closet. Congratulations! They stuff me oh, in the I closet, and then I'm still alive. You died the whole time. Yeah, and then people go, "Oh, gee, he's still alive." Alive. They're all pissed. Well, this gets to it. Then how did he accidentally hit you in the head with a golf club if we didn't even see you get? Well, hit me in the. Well, hit me in the, 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 
<laughs> he hit me in the head with a golf club, and then he pushed me into the closet, but I made a remarkable recovery. Because... <laughs> Because I think he used a pitching wedge, so so I really didn't fly that far, <laughs> so I'm okay. Fair enough, fair enough. It just happens to be one of her favorite, like, oh, let's put on something. We're not sure what to watch. This is perfectly brainless and entertaining. It is. It's the stupidest. It's entertaining. Yeah, it's a stupid thing, and it's you, you can just sit there and go, uh, and watch it, right? If you know the first one especially, it's like you know the trajectory, you know it where it's kind of going. Yeah, it's just deaf, a different thing. There's the deaf girl. There's the guy who deaf plays girl. John Candy all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not John Candy, we call him. Oh, I know the guy you're talking about. That's hilarious. <laughs> he, was the, he played the super on on. Uh, Friends, I think. That's right. Mr. He's oh, the guy yeah. that yells uh, when the boat's going through people. He yells, they're mowing them down. <laughs> that guy, that guy, <laughs> that guy. guy. I can't remember his name. He's a and really nice guy. That was a great impression of the yeah, guy. That's guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's guy. He is the John Candy when they couldn't get John Candy. After that's really away. funny. Yeah, <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my God. I never thought of that. God, uh, I wish I still knew him because I would destroy him with that. <laughs> John Candy? <laughs> no, the, no other the, oh, the other guy. Oh, the other guy. I was going to say, well, thank you for indulging us. That's probably not the, your favorite thing to talk about. Oh, no, Speed 2? <laughs> Listen, I got to go. Uh, no, no, I got to go to St. Martin for four months. That's where they Yeah, shot. they shot. But here was the crap thing about it. They wouldn't let you leave the boat at the beginning, so you had to live on the boat. The same boat you're shooting on. Yeah, it oh, stunk. Wow. I mean, that was terrible. Cause even though it was a cruise ship and everything, you'd take a cruise for like a week. Not three months. You want to get off the boat. What are you doing? Yeah. So eventually we all complained, and then they had to get us. Mutiny. Like a, Mutiny. Yeah. They had, to, they had to take little canoes and put us on the island over there. <laughs> so you were in uh, uh, the Caribbean the whole time, but you, the boat was just in port for the majority of the No, there was a whole bunch of different boats, right? The boat oh, you like shot on was a fake boat, and then there was an, there were a bunch of different boats oh, really? that okay. I was on that were, yeah, that were they, you know, because they, they didn't do miniatures or anything. They built the thing and they drove it into the into the town. They really did. That? Yeah, and they, it went very slowly. And then I guess they sped up the film later. I don't know. That's I don't know crazy. what they did. I don't know. Yeah, it was a big production though. It was fun, and uh, you know, people just disappeared, and uh, uh, they did. <laughs> that happens in a big movie though. They, uh, you know, people go, "Hey, where's?" And then people go, well, "I don't know." And then you never see the guy again. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what happened. Creepy movie. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> yeah, people just weren't on the show. I don't even know what we're talking about at this point. It's true. You never oh know what they're doing. What are you saying? What are you saying right Just now? People just go, you know, they're on the movie one day and then they're not on it the next day. Like when they're building something with the... <laughs> yeah, especially the stunt... Like the Hoover Dam? Like the stunt men. <laughs> okay. They just didn't come back. Yeah. They didn't, I think they're they not didn't, undertow. I don't know where they are. I, I don't know. Okay. I, I don't talk okay. to the well, stunt men. on. Holy cow. Yeah. So how'd you get into comedy? Me? <laughs> oh, uh... Well, we talked about my face. No one would hire me for anything, so I had to do something, and it was stand-up. Did you start with stand-up? Yeah, I did. Well, I, no, I started... Uh, I mean, what, what, why funny? Why did you... What, how did... It, I was a kid who grew up loving comedy. I just didn't do anything to, to become a comedian like you. I, nothing else. I got laughs. Nothing else. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I get. So it's the currency I, that that worked with you. It's the only thing that worked for me, you know. And then once I started noticing women pay attention to me now because I'm funny, well, then I just stuck with it because I wasn't going to magically turn into a good-looking guy, <laughs> was I? No, I've never seen that happen. You never get a haircut and women all of a sudden go, "Wow!" You know, when you walk out of a, a hair salon and you think everyone's looking at you. No, they're not. <laughs> get over yourself. Nobody cares. God. Okay, I'm fine. I'm all right. <laughs> I go, I go a little far, and then it, then it becomes hence just the, hence the therapy animal. Therapy, I yeah. <laughs> well, he's got to help me. You know, he covers up my black heart. <laughs> that, that's definitely not true. But where did you? Uh, how did you get into comedy? I mean, where did that all start for you? Do you uh, mind telling the story? Canada. Grew up in Canada. I grew up in Canada, and they were doing comedy, and then I, you know, I went on at a chain. But like this laugh thing, like the, 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 this, when you realized that laughter was a currency that would that would hold some weight with you. Were you in high school? Did you make a teacher? Laugh? Oh, or did you make your parents laugh? Like, where did it all? Yeah, like when I was a kid, I would put on like magic shows. So did I. Yeah, but I would just hide my sister under the table, and she would do all the crap, and they all knew she was there. You were just the, well, the it would MC move. of it all. Yeah, and the, and the table would move, and it was dumb. But they got big laughs. So but you were then, performing, though. Yeah, I was performing. Yeah. We had these big curtains in the living room, and I would come out from the curtains. Oh, I love that. Remember that? The Johnny old Carson, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
The yeah. picture of the floor to ceiling drapes. Yeah, who knew though? Back in the day, like you know, they still have those Super Eight films that they shot. Of the, and they, here's you doing your magic thing, and it was like you look at it and you're like, oh god. Well, I'm glad you brought that up. Let's yeah. roll it. Oh, no, I don't <laughs> and I actually looked. How the hell? These guys are good. They called my mom. <laughs> Jeremy Hotz, this is your life. Oh god. <laughs> I'm and sensing then I, a theme, I did Richard. That, and then I, I went to Canada. I mean, I, I, I went to the Just for Laughs Festival, and then that's in Montreal. You know that festival, right? Huge. It's their big Mrs. international Ryan's thing. Oh, many, many, many really? Years. Okay, yeah. so then from there. What I was got your first year there? 90. 94? Okay. I'm guessing. It was smaller then, a lot smaller. Yeah, it was smaller. Nice to done. And, and people went that could help your career. So, <laughs> well, you yeah, that. I mean, Disney signed me, and then I moved to America. Really? That's what happened. Mm -hmm. So Disney saw you at JFL? Yeah, yeah, they did. I didn't, and then that's I didn't how, know Disney had scouts like that. They apparently they, did. They used uh, to. And then they gave me this money, and then I took the money and moved on it. And then they, of course, never did anything. They just don't. They just go, hey, here, you want some money? And you go, yeah, okay. And then they don't so they do just anything. held you? Yeah. And then there were other deals that, you know, after that, which was fine. Was you there know? somebody similar to you that, that did get a deal where they just wanted to hold you off the market? It was in a time when people got deals and they didn't, they, out of paranoia. Is that fair to say? Mm -hmm. They wanted to keep them away from the other networks. Get it? Yeah. So I want to own whatever you might come up with. In case you come up case. with something in this year. Yeah. But you've just started, so you're not going to come up with anything in a year. What are they, nuts? God. But and then by the time you figure it all out, they go, no, we don't want you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's showbiz, man. Well, walk us through that, because JFL did used to make careers. So what, you get a, a one-year holding deal or something like that? Or is it a development deal, that kind of thing? Yeah, well, some of them were development deals, some were holding, different things, different things, yeah. You know, uh, it depends. And then shit tons of meetings, and then nothing happens. Nothing happens, but you got to go to the meetings, and then you meet. I, I met Henry Kissinger's son. <laughs> yeah. What was he like? Working at CBS. Really? Yeah. Th what's his name? Uh, I forget. David Kissinger. <laughs> David. David. David Kissinger. It really is? Yeah. It is. That's yeah. kind of a neat thing. All right. Yeah. So you got to do that. I, I, got, to, I got to meet him. Uh, strange looking guy. Uh, <laughs> nice man. Uh, di didn't do the show. There you go. Uh, what else? <laughs> That's all I remember. You know, nice guy. Didn't do it. <laughs> you know? Was he the exec who could have greenlit it? He could have done it? I don't know. Les was, and they had to go take it to him, and then he had to decide. So the guy that, de 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 that decides on your show, you never meet. Yeah. Never meet the guy. Yeah. You know? all but the you years, hear about him. All the years do you in, hear? <laughs> all the years working in television, he was one of those people that was just, I mean, forget uh, whatever is in the news about him and stuff these days, but he was just always one of those people who was like a Darth Vader over the, up there in the castle. Oh, that's right. And I couldn't. And everyone, no one had access to this guy. No. Nobody could get to, to Les no. Moonves. I couldn't, st I still to this day can't stop running into this fucking guy. Are you serious? I'm not. <laughs> That's I'm, hilarious. From, from, from going to Letterman and him being involved with yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff back in the day to, I used to uh, work on a TV show, a David E. Kelly law drama called The Practice. And he, we had Les Moonves on to play himself as a network executive who was kidnapped by Andy <laughs> McDowell in the, at the Four Seasons. And we shot the whole thing for two weeks. Like yeah. a whole big thing. And so he's there and on an ABC show. By the way, it was a Fox show that aired on ABC. <laughs> and we've got the head of CBS <laughs> tied up. In, and he, in did the hotel. he did and it. He did it. He did it. And then we... I, not as much these days, but until the controversy, we ran into him at breakfast all the time he, at a place yeah. in Malibu we used to go. We go all the time, actually. Really? Just one of those people. And every time... Uh, Leslie... Like I'm somebody. Like Leslie. <laughs> was he nice to you at least? Yeah, he would always joke back. Somebody said something about there was like a car show going on and it sounded like karaoke. It was car show karaoke and I turned it was like, is that one of yours? Because <laughs> carpool karaoke was his. Oh, okay. So was All right. So you had kind of a relationship with the guy. Enough that we saw each other in New York. Okay, that's cool right? though, you know. I mean I wasn't started, under his right? No, where did he, he start? Was a bartender with Eddie at the That's right. The doorman at the improv. Yeah, come on. The Let's Hollywood sit. Improv. Yeah, he was. That's what I. Well, before, Let's like, I wasn't here, is. and I don't think Chaz was. I don't know what, like, eighties, right, Chaz? Before I started. Music. Yeah. So started yeah, way, music. way back at the beginning of time. Wow. When stuff was still in black and white, Les Moonves <laughs> was the doorman at the Improv. There you go. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Yeah. Cool history. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. That's right. Yeah, he was like, or you know. All right, like, so then you're he, in the business. He, he rode one of those bikes oh. with the big wheel on the front and the yes, little one right, on the yeah, bottom. Of what are those called? 
<laughs> Just I an old fashioned bicycle. Yeah, old fashioned bicycle. Big wheel or red? Yeah. Big wheeler. Yeah. Big wheel. The big wheel was a great invention. Do you remember the big wheel? I, I used to you whip an e brake on a big wheel. See, girls don't know. You don't know. And then if you had a big wheel long enough, because like we were talking about before, things being disposable, big wheels were straight up disposable. If you drove them out, in the, you know, outside, the wheels would crack, and then they'd fill with gravel. And that stuff, was the end and of it. You'd have the whole. Yeah. Once the, once the wheels cracked, they were made out of plastic. So once the wheels cracked, you were done. Really? Yeah. Uh, we need to do a. Oh, excellent! Thank you. Very good point. Very good point. Thank what are you? What are you? What are you endorsing? Thank you. Producer, if you don't mind. Yes, you are, and I oh, very much. Oh, with me, by the way. And I. What do you got there? I very much appreciate it. What are you selling? We have to take blood? a quick break. What is that? Human blood? We have to take a quick. Break. They got a bottle of blood here. <laughs> He's making it hard for our first time. And now we have to take a quick break for our these for these wonderful words from Oh So Delicious, the only hot sauce made by bears. Wow! Put that on your Kentucky Fried. Oh, so delicious, it's a hot sauce made by bears Garlic and serrano, mixed with love and care You can put it on your eggs, pour it on your rice It's great on a leg, it's better on a slice It's oh, so delicious, it's a hot sauce made by bears Oh, so delicious hot sauce, great on everything except oatmeal Get your bottle today at ohsodelicious.org One dollar from every bottle sold goes to the National Military Family Association Oh my God! Stupid bear! What a dumb thing with a big target on his chest! Oh my, oh my God! God. And we're thing. back. Spoken like Oops. a and we're back. <laughs> Were we on? Oh, that was. I didn't realize we were still. I thought you had the technology no else, to no mute else, the guest mic. No one else will. <laughs> no one else will hear it, but we sure heard it. All oh, okay, good, good. Critiquing our sponsors. Yeah, well, and our and our comedian friends. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Thank you for me. that, Richard. Uh, <laughs> how about how about Chasler? You guys go back. What can you tell us about Richard Chastler? Uh He lives on the same street as... Me! Oh! <laughs> there you go. I see that coming. That's it. <laughs> That's how we know each other. That's it. And then I saw him at the club a few times, and then I said, hey, where do you live? And he goes, he names the street, and I go, I live on that street. What number do you live at? And I'm like, I live on the same side. Oh, so funny. <laughs> and we found out that I was like a half a block away from the guy. That's really right. Yeah, really you guys funny. are writing partners and so fellow yeah. comedians. So you hadn't been friends before that? Jeez, you make it seem like you go back, you know, through no. comedy and everything. No, no, no. no. You, know, you know, but we, we didn't actually become friends, friends. You know, we never became friends. He's not my friend. I see. He just I lives see. on the same street. Here I am putting labels oh on God. things. We got together and we're tolerant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Name the game. There's a rapport. Listen, we... There's we, a rapport. Uh, there has to be tension when you write. <laughs> he makes me very tense. <laughs> he does. He does. You know? You're welcome, husband. That's the guy. way it is. What are you guys working on? We're working on a thing together that oh, we're that we're man. constantly arguing about. Yeah, that's Great. what we do. So that's TV, what we do. TV, movie. Yeah, we got a series. You'll see it soon. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to call Les? No, Let yeah, Les will do it for us <laughs> for sure because he's so well connected. Yeah. He's so well connected. Are and you, we have a, we have a part for a judge too. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's one of those ironies. What? <laughs> the ironic. Uh, 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 can we talk about what you were like as a kid? Because that fascinates me. I you love, know, I love this something like. <laughs> is that true? Yeah, I never really, I never did any. I've never really had a job, right? Yeah. No, I, it wouldn't hire me. No one likes to look on my face. I'm telling you, that's what it is. I, Why all do you my keep friends were getting that? jobs, and I never, they never hired me. I think they just figured that guy's trouble or something. But is that material, or do you feel that way? No, about I do yourself? feel that way. Yeah, I don't feel I don't fit into this thing. You know, that's why I'm a stand up. That's why I stand there in front of a microphone and everybody looks at me because I'm weird. I really think that's what it is. I'm different, and that's what it is. Well, so you're I have probably to stand different, there. and that's probably good. But it might not be the physical appearance that you think it is. Well, I, you know, I'm I'm very self effacing. You know. Wouldn't you have to be? Hey, oh, hey. Just, oh, I do. Sorry, not, do fair, not fair, not fair. But I am, but I am. You know, I mean, I, I don't, you know. I, I, look, at everybody thinks something about themselves. Mm -hmm. I think a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's honest. That's honest. There you go. I mean, that's a comedian's brain, right? Right, buddy? Yeah, I'm in my head a lot. And you have to be, right? You know you do. I mean, you gotta. that's how you come up with material and stuff. Yeah. You know? What's your ratio, though, of like you're in your head and what you write down? Oh, weak because I can do it on stage. Just make it up. So there, there you oh, go. Wow. So once that happens, you just kind of... And then you remember it after, you, after it worked? If it's good. If it worked. Yeah. 
that, there's my problem. I think everything I do is garbage. So there you that's go. That's what I'm getting. There you go. And I, I think you're great already. Yeah, I've well, met you for half an hour. That's part of the thing, though. That's just me. Oh, only half an hour is good. What? <laughs> More than that, and it starts I'm to good go. Good for about thirty minutes. <laughs> Oh, oh, you mean in comedy? You mean in comedy? Oh, I thought you meant. All right. I mean in general as okay. a person. Uh, I don't know. Or in comedy. I think I think people bore of me after a while. I think that's what it is. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. What do you think? I'm not bored of you even a little bit. Yeah, I don't like the way you're sitting though. I think you like me too much. Oh, weird. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Really? You know, you lean in a bit and stuff. Yeah. That's kind of just a small your room. Thing. It's, it's a small room. How you Which host. I've been I've been I've done this show. I did uh, you were Letterman. On Letterman. I did. Yep. I did Letterman once back in uh Chaz yeah. 90 uh uh, if it was the 90s, it might have been even this version. No, I think it was later. I think it was oh. 2000. Oh. I'm not sure. I don't remember. You should I'm bad know. with date. Should I? Yeah. See, that's bad. <laughs> Did you do a, a stand-up or a panel or both? Both. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, it was my first time ever. That was the first show I ever got to do, you know, st- and it was Letterman. Jesus. Well, that's what I mean. I mean, good God. That's, that's a big That's the closest get. thing to Carson in the old days if it's your first yeah, one. it was my like, first holy one. Holy cow. Like, like everyone, the guy working the camera is more famous than you because he's on the show <laughs> every <laughs> day. I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, so when, when the crew out is more famous, you're like, Jesus, everyone here, you know. That's a pretty good point. But uh, you know who was really nice to me was Schaefer because he's from Canada and he knew I was from Canada. So he yes. was really nice to me. Like he came into my dressing room and everything and he sat down and he... He's from Thunder Bay. Thunder where, Bay. Where that's what he from? said. Yeah. Where are you Ottawa. from? Ottawa. Oh, okay. Same Tom province. Green territory. Yeah. Same, same province. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, isn't that the cat- capital? Too? Capital of it. Listen, to, look at you go. You're <laughs> you're a you well-read go. American. Look at you. <laughs> he knows a bit about Canada. He, look at that. Yeah, well, geography is not a strong point for America. No, it ends at uh, America. Oh, so hence the surprise. Yeah, I was shocked. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, Do you know who Shackleton was? <laughs> no. Well, okay. <laughs> but I also I think you were introduced to him as Shack, so I thought maybe it was one of those ironic names because he's so small. Well, kind of, people do think that. But he's not. You know. Who's Shackleton? Shackleton was the explorer when he dragged a whole bunch of people uh, to the Antarctic, and then they got lost. And he's a hero because he got them out alive. But he got them lost in the first place. So yeah, I don't know. I, how. Be, I yeah. heard about him on a TV show about See? penguins. About That's yeah. So if it wasn't weird. for Shackleton, there'd be no there'd penguins. There'd be no penguins. Everybody yeah. knows that. Sure, yeah. of course. That's it. <laughs> he saved he brought, all the penguins. He saved them out. <laughs> Shackleton, Shackleton was Shackleton, the, mar- the Canadian Pied Piper. Good of to penguins. know who your dog's named after, yeah. sir. Good to know. He's my boy, though. <laughs> does, does Shackleton go everywhere with you? Yeah, he does. I mean, like everywhere. Well, he's got his papers, right? But does he, He's I a mean, service animal. What about on stage? Have you ever taken Shackleton Yeah, the, of course. At the end of the theater shows, he runs out, and they, you can hear 2,000 people go, oh, oh, at the same time. Can we talk about that? Can we talk about the big shows? Sure. What What would someone, where can someone see that, and what would they see if they were to go see that? He doesn't do much, I'll, I'll be honest with you. We set up a little microphone. I mean you and the whole show, and then oh. we'll get to his... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he really do- He's a terrible guest because he doesn't want to talk about himself. No, I don't really... Uh, I'm not a fan of Jeremy Hotz. <laughs> <laughs> That's clear. That makes two of us. Oh, wow. <laughs> anyway, bottom line is, I, I don't... I don't think you uh, guys are good writing partners. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? What it comes down to is what's on the page, and I can usually get most of his shit out of there <laughs> before I hand it in. Good team. We're very good. Oh, God, I'm sweating now. Why? The dog? Because I'm wearing a Uh-oh. winter coat. I'm sweating. Look. At, oh, that's going to leave those little white things all over my head. Mm-hmm. I don't think Why is it so. so hot in here? Are you hot? No. See, generalized anxiety disorder. That's what I have. We this can, is what uh, uh, we, it's, it's, uh, yeah. it's 71 currently, and oh. we can make it cooler. Oh, though. yeah. Turn it down to 68. You it's your it. fault. I come from, uh, I was born in Africa. Did you know that? Did you really leave the set? He's gone. You weren't what really born in Africa. Yes, I was. You're Canadian. Where no. in Africa? I was born in, uh, I offered, you said yes, so I have to I was born it. in South Africa. That's a lie. No, it isn't. I was born in Cape Town. I was born in Cape Town, South Africa. We moved to Canada when I was one. That's why I don't have an accent. Yes, that's the truth. And now I have a green card. And I... Uh, <laughs> when were you born? I was born in uh, 1965. Was that during apartheid and everything else, right? It was a, it was a, wasn't that a it's weird a, Yeah, I just started. It's, it's, what you, what you, it's your fault? It was my fault. I grew up and said, yeah, you know. What a jerk. Now Come I on. see why Chester... Yeah. We left no when I was one. you are not a fan of Jeremy Hot. <laughs> and, then we went, and then we moved to Canada when I was one on a ship. They took us in a boat. Again, a speed two boat. And then we went... <laughs> 
and then I moved here, and now I have, I got the green card, and now I have a passport, and I'm an African American. How does it feel? You look great. Thanks. I write it on every form I fill out. <laughs> and then I show up. <laughs> I am. I am. That's officially what I am. God. You know, Shaq, they don't pay attention. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? Me? Yeah, because I, I want to talk care. about you and you don't. So what do you want to talk about? Anything. I don't care. We'll talk about anything. We'll talk about anything. I talk about our show that we're working on, right? We're working on a show. We, we, Let's hear it. I do stand up all over the city. You can see me at uh, the Laugh Factory, or the Improv, or the Comedy. This is the Magic part of the show Club. we call Billboard. Here he is. Oh, you got it. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. This is, <laughs> since we're doing this, hey! <laughs> yeah, you can see me there. And then where? Uh, Start over. Oh, okay. Uh, the Laugh Factory, uh, the Improv, the Comedy and Magic Club. I like it there. Uh, the Comedy Magic. Yeah. Wow. No, it's, a, it's a great club. <laughs> but not the, you don't like you don't like. That's the, what I heard. You don't like the Comedy Magic Club? I love the Comedy that's Magic Club. Yeah, I also like the, the two previous. I, I just uh, I do, too. I didn't mean to stop. I ever cut it. <laughs> no, I- <laughs> nah, you, you See what happens when comedians come in the whole fucking Oh, yeah. Thing you gotta, right? Look, you just throw my thing on the floor. I don't right? yeah. do one-offs well. It's wow. not my bag. I'm going to stop trying. <laughs> <laughs> I try to contribute a one-off statement, and everyone's like, let's talk about that. And I'm like, oh, we love you. I don't that's why that. We can well, talk about that, anything. We it can't doesn't matter. Figure, he's being so hostile with me that I just I, can't I, even. <laughs> he told me I was coming on to him. He said, I don't want to talk about myself. He said, I don't even like myself. You know what the problem Started is? sweating profusely. Made me leave to the set to go put the you AC You are on. hypersensitive. That's, oh, oh, my God. There's you could thing. not have hit it better. <laughs> that is, you, could, you know how I know this? I've been in counseling my entire life. <laughs> I know everything. I've been in counseling so much, I could be a psychologist. I All can tell I can you think exactly is hashtag nailed it. I, not only can I tell you what's wrong with you, I could make it funny. <laughs> yeah. If that's yeah. not a show, that should be a show. That should be a show. <laughs> there you go. Hey, we should tell Moon. No, he's Moonface. We can't use him. Who's the new person? <laughs> Who is it? No one yet. Who? I don't think anyone. We know yet. the Moonves at. Uh, Nobody? We know the less Moonves in, in, in that uh, role of Pop Network. In fact, he used to be a protege under Les Moonves and obviously isn't anymore. Pop Network. The, the Shits Creek, the network that started Shits Creek. That's right. That's I, right. It, is it a Canadian network? No, but he's Canadian. Who is? The guy I'm talking about. R- who is he? Her uncle, actually, but his he's name is Can- Bradley Schwartz. He's Canadian? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, from where? Montreal? No, I forget where, I forget but where he went to UPenn, like, so I know him from that down. Oh, so he came from Canada too, right? Yeah, his first, his first see, job. See Canadians leave. His first job was yeah. being Lauren Michaels' assistant on a Saturday Night Live. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a tough start in show business, eh? I would imagine it probably is. Wow. It's a pretty if you rough can hack gig, it, actually. But if you can hack it, wow. If, if you can hack it, you're in job, for, yeah. for life. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Yeah, you yeah. have to be good at that gig, though. Like but I, any other, other I've heard from people that it's gig. extremely hard, right? Yeah. Like, to be a writer or something on SNL, it's hard to get your shit on and stuff because there's so much competition from yeah. everybody doing it, so it's very difficult. That's the first place I ever worked. Really? Mm-hmm. I worked NBC. at the Jon Stewart show, and we wrote sketches, and it was a little like that, but your sketches Which, got on. And MTV or the syndicated show? The syndicated show. Good for you. Yeah, wow. the really so good the one. second canceled show. Yeah, but that was so much fun to work, and you have no idea. I, I mean, loved everything I worked on that, that for a year and two months, and then it was canceled. But it was... It How was, many writers were remember? on that oh, show? Twelve? Twelve? Do you remember your last guest? Uh, I think it was Peter Fonda? Was it Dave? David Letterman. Oh, shit. He loved Dave. Yeah. He loved Dave. Oh. It was, it was so, that time, was a sad it was, day. It was the time when Letterman wasn't doing anything else and he did it because of John. I mean, they, they wanted, Worldwide Pants wanted John Stewart to, there was a lot of to back, a lot of back there. He had a deal for 1230 I know. for a long time. I know he did. he didn't get the show. It Which sucked. is so weird. It but he was one, great for him. He was wonderful on, on, on the Comedy Central thing, Absolutely. man. He was wonderful. It worked out so fabulously. Who cares? Yeah, it really did. And he got what he should have But I love gotten. that you wrote on that. Yeah, you no, we all did and, and performed. All we were of all... us kids who were, you know, because the music was good and everything. It was oh, all yeah. younger. And we all loved that show. Yeah, it was a fun show. But it, it was real niche. And, and it really catered to, like what you said, a certain a certain thing. But there were some really good It was the alt show. It was the kids' alt show. D- that cat, that writing. I mean, who was the sidekick? The guy who had the long face. Howard. Howard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was a stand-up. So you know funny. that, right? Yes. He was I a New York stand-up. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, he was he was in all. The, I used him a lot in the sketches. I loved him because he was so weird. Face, yeah, he's really weird, dude. Really strange. What's his? Great I don't character. know that guy. Adam Howard what? Uh, Howard. That was his character name on the show, at least. Oh, oh okay. no, it's I'll his name. Him. Howard. His I can't remember his last name. Damn it. I'll look. I'll look him up. I worked with John way later, so I don't know any of this stuff. Yeah. I just know the John the Comedy Central show. Yeah. I loved doing that. It was so much fun. I mean, oh, like we had so Where much fun. Where did you do it? It was New York, wasn't it? Yeah, I'll tell you. And then, oh, we only ever canceled one show was canceled because it was New York, and and. Uh, we couldn't get to the studio because there had been a murder in front of it. So we couldn't go to do the show oh at all. Gosh. And we just did jokes the whole day. Well, we'd like to do a show today, but the murder. All of all the comics were just running around going, murder all day. It was just a, a warehouse studio in Hell's Kitchen or something like just that? No, it was right next to the Maury Povich show. <laughs> oh, like Tribune or whatever. So I think that's why someone was murdered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the father, and I'm pissed about it. Howard Schultz is right, isn't that Howard Schultz? Oh. Yeah, I think that, That's, but, that but sounds he, right to me. Right, but he didn't use Schultz as his last name as a stand-up. Oh. He didn't. It, it was something else. Howard Fell or something. I can't remember his last name. Sorry, guys. But he was really fun, and uh, that's where I learned how to do, how to put pieces together and stuff like that. You know what I mean? You mean literally the construction of yeah, because you had to edit your own, your own, your own pieces. Oh, we all really? edited our own pieces, yeah. And it was stand-ups. Like, it was me, uh, Brian Hart, David Tell. That's how uh, he took that to the John, to the Daily Show format. Because the Daily Show didn't used to be like that when when Craig, uh, uh, for, for yeah, the one before him, Kilborn used to host yeah. it. Stuart brought all that. Yeah. So he brought those correspondents from his own show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That so, makes so much sense. I, I don't know. I think it was produced by... Yeah, no. The, ours was syndicated. Mm -hmm. So it, I think, was it... Paramount it is who Paramount, it was. Yeah. Is that's who it was? And then it was Comedy Central after that, and it started with MTV. So it was a different production company altogether. I don't know if he brought any people from uh, that wrote on that show to the new show. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He might have brought the director Maybe. to make it look, but I, I don't. I, you know, the net, different networks have different. people. You know how it works. Yeah, yeah, that's the way it is. So that's so wild, though. That was the time when I was discovering all of this stuff. You know, that was when talk shows, the '90s, were uh, everything. Everyone CNBC was a talk show network. Yeah, people don't remember that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Talk the shows, holding deals, shows. development deals, like that's the rage of the '90s. And then it all stopped. <laughs> it's just different. It's just totally different now. And everyone, once everyone settles and lets that be okay, like that, it's just yeah. a new way, of, new landscape. Yeah, you're right. It's true. You got every. You have to adapt because things change so quickly now. You know, people get bored. People have a really short attention span. We're I think that's what that. it is. How do you fight that you, in your act or just in life in your writing? In I general? find that if I don't pay attention at all, it works. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it out completely. <laughs> yeah, just I just don't. It's all coming back around. I don't it see comes you. down you're to not, what you're not even there. Really wants. Yeah, like that's what it all is. Yeah, it, the real people don't want thirty second attention. They don't want to train themselves to be so short attention span. I agree with you. I think that. Well, you guys work on the internet, right? So, mm -hmm. do you find that shorter stuff is better or longer stuff is better on the internet? We're bucking the system because they say short, but, and we're going long. But I've heard long format does really well too. Yeah, so what? What? What is the answer? We're, we're hearing that. Now. What is the well, answer? What you I think like. you're right. I think you're right too. Okay. But the, the wave is definitely shifting to. Oh, okay. So it's becoming l legitimate, like longer. Like invest a half an hour and watch yes, this but thing. For the same reason that you said, oh, look at the TVs and the sizes and everything earlier today when you first got here. Yeah. That whole thing. It, everyone can watch this show on an 80-inch television if they want to. It doesn't have to live here. If, if you're going to stare at this, it needs to be only three minutes or, or even less. You know what I mean? If you're going to watch it on your phone or your iPad. But everything's everything's compatible now, so who cares? Absolutely. But that's my point. People yeah. are starting to realize that they can now watch the internet on their television. Come on. It's called a smart TV for a reason. Snap out of it. Read the, read the manual. Read the manual. <laughs> Tom Arnold showed up. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Here's the thing. Here's what you do. I got a new thing for you. That's your new, that's your new logo. What's, what? the name of, what's the name of the show? This one? Late right Night Playset. Late, late, play late Night Playset. Read the manual. <laughs> there you go. There it is. There it is. That's your log line. I got it. I got it. I got it. There's TV on the internet, but I think we're going to change it. <laughs> <laughs> See? See, I can really sell, man. I know how to sell. I can market. Look at me go. Anything but you. I just listened to what the, the guy. I'm not good at myself. I know. I That's know. a bummer. 
Because yeah. I think you're awesome. Already. Well, the pro- but the problem is. But it uh, may be that you don't like yourself, and maybe that's what you're. Oh, here's a project. I can help him like himself. Well, that's how I have relationships. That's what I <laughs> That's right, every do. girl ever. Uh, that's right. Yeah. I've I've mothered, but it's important because I already have a mother, so they don't last. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have two mothers. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it doesn't work. You know. Oh. I know, but I can I ask you? Uh, can I sw- switch all over the place here? Yes. You uh, were on a TV show called The Newsroom. Yes, it's I was. Not the TV show The Newsroom that that we know, the no. Aaron Sorkin show. This was from. Probably about the same time we were talking about before, the n- mid late nineties. The, the night they seem to briefly like me in the nineties <laughs> for about a year Could there. Be a contender, yeah. Who is this guy? They seem to really like me in the nineties. Oh. But the for newsroom a year. in the nineties. What was what was it? Was this comedy? Show? It was the first show. It's comedy called the Newsroom. It was a critically acclaimed thing, and uh, I won a big acting award for it. And then Canada, in their infinite wisdom, never put me in another television show again. So that's why we haven't seen it. Was it on the CBC? Or yes, wait, it, was. it was. It was. So we didn't have access to it. Is it? Is it? Uh, you remember this? You know the CBC, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Is it DVDable or? Uh, uh, yeah, I think you can get it on DVD if you have a DVD player. Well, I read. <laughs> Maybe I'll fax one to you. Would you mind? I have a guy pony it over here. Uh, 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 I'm asking because it, when I read this, the information about it, it sounded great. It's I watch shows about TV shows. Can I, I be honest that. with you? Studios, it is, it's this? the best comedy ever made in the country. There's only 12 of them. It and is that's the best one. Yeah, it's like the Larry Sanders show, except about a newsroom. If y'all were good this at it, you'd make at. more. It was a great show. What? If y'all were good at it up there, you'd make more. But you farm shit down here, and we get the good stuff, like Larry Sanders, like that show. It's true, but you know, it was on PBS, and I think that's what killed it. <laughs> <laughs> My fav- PBS for the smart snooty people. Come on. <laughs> My Come favorite on. shows are, you mentioned this poster before. This is actually from Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip. It was in Matthew Perry's office on that show. Oh, how cool. But that was a Sorkin uh, show. It was sort of the making of Saturday Night Live kind of a show. Do you, I don't know if you remember I do that. remember that. Well, it was the first 30 Rock, wasn't it? it? It was. They actually premiered the same week and the same year and everything. And, and I, his was, I was a drama and the other one was a comedy, correct? Yes. And the comedy lasted and the drama went away. That's what I remember. It. You got it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, one was way too. Boy, I haven't thought about that and since since that ha- like all those years ago. Well, wow. I, that's we've watched that series th- probably three times all the way through because we love it so much. Really, but it became the newsroom and so on and so forth. Yeah, Larry Sanders probably my all time favorite single camera comedy. Probably you, my all. You favorite. should watch the Canadian. You will love it then. If that's, that's your favorite show at. of all time, yes, you should watch. You'll die at the newsroom. Even the new that's morning show good. on Apple TV. All of those things. You will, even the if you like Harrison that morning Ford show Ford thing, you'll love the newsroom. Yeah. Oh, I promise you, I wouldn't tell you to. It's me. I'm in it. I'm not going to tell you to watch me unless it's really good. No, you should watch it. You should watch it, yeah. (laughs) So that's my point. I wasn't blowing smoke. We're genuinely into it. Uh, I think you should get it. Where could we get it? I could get you that. Oh, I could please. get you that. I could get you that crap. You I know, I have. I could get you some link that you, you know, that would be and then amazing. you could put it up on your ninety-inch TV because <laughs> he's read the manual. <laughs> Late night place that read the manual. <laughs> Good grief! I'm gonna need that clean before you leave. <laughs> nice clean booth audio. <laughs> Uh, hey, buddy. You've been really uh, good. I'm really proud of you. He's really good. I mean, this is the whole thing. Like, when I first got him, he was a rescue, and so he would, you know, he wouldn't get out of the bag, his bag for the first month, and he wouldn't even let me pick him up for five or six. bag? Well, he, 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 he lives in a bag. They love the, you know, he's a chihuahua. He burrows. He, like, oh, that kind of a, a carrier. Yeah, carry. A, just a bag. Well, not a paper <laughs> bag. I don't care about a paper bag like I'm drinking him. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god anyway so i you know and then uh, i forget what i was talking about now you threw me the right the dog oh, i love in the him. bag yeah i put him in a bag and he was you know he's always been like you take him everywhere with you and people sometimes they i don't know what it is it's like some places you go in like i'm with Chaz or somebody else and they really they just stare at the dog and you know they're going to come over and cause a stink and oh they, you can see them thinking oh you can see it's it all so and, and I, in my head i'm going oh that pricks coming over here that pricks headed over here you know what i mean and then and sure enough he comes over and then other places oh they you know i mean i i I got a date once (laughs) that's it putting a pin in that that right there that's it the lid's on it i got a date once period i got a date okay let's it's not you all right it's me the dog this is a yes Yes, he's not she happened to like the dog so much that she was willing to put up with me. You know, I understood to be the near joke, it. right? I understood the joke. Fine, we don't need to get louder and retell it. 
<laughs> See, now he's ganging up on both of us at the same time. Lisa, more than me. I'm, yeah. It's fine. See? Go to jail. You have alienated yourself in How's this the interview. temperature? How's the temperature? Are you good? Are <laughs> you comfortable now? You I'm came sweating. alive when we turned the AC back I on. That's wanna, why Letterman used to do that. I put the odor on. I've noticed myself, too. I, I think I'm turning into a Nazi. I put it on like this. <laughs> I do. I do. I've noticed in the mirror. I'm going to stop. Is that new since... Uh, the last couple of years since this morning when I was oh wow on, I went, oh, oh i'm starting to i'm starting to look like a nazi i can't do that so i'm now moving it this way and then just sliding it under my arm <laughs> <laughs> all right so back to letterman well you knew when hitler you, was going to come out once <laughs> when you did <laughs> we can talk about hitler too no no want. i just can't do an interview without mentioning him. I don't know what the hell that is he just oh, always God. he slips out he slips in somehow i what can you tell me that you remember from your Letterman experience? You uh, only did it once, right? I did it, yeah, and then I did Leno, so that's the end of that, eh? That's what was going on then. You remember that, right? Oh, uh, what? If you, did my the, memory. if you did the other, you couldn't, you get it? So my, fr- okay, so Zoe Friedman was, oh. she worked at uh, she Letterman. Yeah. She was the booker. For and years she, and years, comedy she, booker. And years she and booked years. me, and um, I went down. Uh, and she was uh, she had seen me at the improv because her dad owned the improv at the time, Bud Friedman, and she had seen me there. And she uh, hang on, my entire life I didn't know that Zoe was Bud's Bud's daughter. daughter. <laughs> yes, are you serious? And they have the same last name, and you never put it together. I wow. never I never made the connection. I yeah. never saw her at uh, the improv. I saw her oh, at other clubs because she or was at... already uh, she was already working on Letterman. She's living exactly. in New York at exactly. the time. Is what it's a different to. level of comedy in New York. Certainly then, like L.A. comedy wasn't the same then. What do you mean? When when she booked that show, like New York comedy was acerbic and witty, just like Dave. They Brown. didn't. Dave didn't use a lot of guys from L.A. Mm-hmm. Right. I was. I got. L, I got it. And then they so they flew me in, and I did the thing, and then. Jay Jay Leno uh, was doing his show at the same time. The Tonight Show. Uh, I came back right like the corner. beautiful downtown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I came, I came uh, uh, back to L.A. and and Jimmy Brogan was writing with on on that show. He's the head writer. And what Jay used to do was they used to with Jimmy they used to write the monologues together. So Jay Jay and Jimmy would sit in the at Jay's house and they would write the monologues and work on the stuff. And they would watch Letterman and stuff. They're and Jay close. Jay watched Letterman one night when Jimmy was there and went, Oh, why can't I get a guy like that why can't i get a guy like that on my show and then jimmy went oh i'll ask him and then he asked me and i went yeah i'll do it and then i did four of those <laughs> were you living in la at the time yeah oh, that so was way was easier so i just you. drove yeah. to the thing you yeah. know it was great yeah yeah and then i've done his uh, i've done his just uh, the atmosphere was different also. jay jay was like he really took an interest in me like i did his i've done his uh jay leno's garage you, you know you that's have? For, yeah that's for people who know about i was gonna about, ask you if you were gonna because this is believe it or not more of a car show than anything else are you serious I swear to god oh watch so they're, my they're segment they're tolerating the comedy today so now we should say so for also from jay leno's garage oh no you should they should watch what my segment. what did se- you have well i know nothing about cars that was the game mine was really funny because i know nothing about cars so it's usually someone who knows about cars so it was just jay angry at me it's really funny that's very funny no it's funny you'll we enjoy just saw it Jay on the sunday i guess yeah sunday. Yeah. yeah you'll uh driving you'll, a car of course you'll yeah you should watch that episode i think i don't know what season it is just type my name so in. i was gonna ask if you, you can that remember too. it check the manual we'll figure that part out <laughs> uh, uh how about the differences for other people we know i've been to both and I actually wish. sort of worked on both uh uh can you tell us the differences between say doing a letterman show and then coming out and doing it's a, hard when people show. ask me the question because they were both thrilling in their the first ones were both thrilling in their own way okay so mm-hmm. dave was you know the i was terrified because everyone was a big star that was working there and dave was you know comics at the time would run home and watch letterman you know i was yes. never one of those guys I don't run. Good God. <laughs> anyway, so I never did that, and and then and then uh, I eventually uh, got it, and I think it's because you didn't care. I, I didn't. That's I wild. Didn't. I didn't want to be the guy that went on the talk show that had to do his act and work. I wanted to sit there and talk about how lousy my experience was on Speed Two. <laughs> why? Why couldn't I do that? It wasn't fair. It wasn't fair. Why couldn't I be Hollywood's asshole? God, I'd be—I would have been hosting the Golden Globes. <laughs> he, he nailed it. He nailed it. Uh, but that then was you so did great. I was Letterman. so happy. But then you did go sit down and do panel on Letterman. So I how, did. How was that? 
Oh, he was the nicest guy. I mean, mm-hmm. like, honestly. And the way that happened was Zoe, because uh, you know her now, you'll like this story too. Zoe said, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, we don't know what's going to happen. So you're going to do your set. You're going to go out and do your set. And then Dave's going to come up and, and then he's going to say something to you. And whatever he says, you just do it. And I went, okay. So I did my set. And then Dave walked up and he goes, really good job, Jeremy. Jeremy Hotz, ladies and gentlemen. And then he leans in and whispers in my ear, why don't you come and sit down for a while? That's how that happened. And then the segment came back, and I was sitting there, and I did more comedy on did another segment with with wow. Dave. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that was really cool. That was one of the things that w- I'll remember, you know. And there's one other, but I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you cut one? Good God, sorry. <laughs> oh, he doesn't care, eh? Just right. That's on why you. you carry the dog. Oh, I f- get it he now. He farts on Gee you. He Like, good lord. Good Lord. All right, well, how do you feel about this experience? We've done the hour. You've done the time. Oh, I love this. You guys are great. You ask great questions, and then it's not. there's no pressure. This is fantastic. You should continue to do this. <laughs> <laughs> My writing partner, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> See how he is with the words? What? what? <laughs> See how he is with the words? <laughs> I hope you know that we have genuinely enjoyed this and that it's have. not bullshit. I, I, listen. I wish you liked yourself a little more, but maybe we'll deal with that in you, visit you two. Know, it's so not, a, way, it's not an act. Here, truly one of your best interview skill set today I've ever seen. Dealing with me is what you he's trying to say. We really are freaking pro. See that? Because I am completely unprofessional. That's what Chaz is trying to say. He said to me, show up on this show for me today and fuck up the host. That's what he said. (laughs) That's what everybody else would rather see, Uh, I think. uh, It doesn't matter how uncomfortable it makes me. So what we do with Shaq is, what we do with Shaq is, just let me fill this in, uh, because I forgot to tell you, but uh, on my my theater shows, because the fans, they come and they, you know. Can we talk, let's, before we wrap up, let's talk about your theater show. Where can we? uh, I do a major tour in uh, Canada every two years, across the entire country. I do, and then in, in America, I do clubs. That's the difference. But in Canada, I do because I've been doing this for 35 years and I come from there. I'm quite famous. So they come to see me, a lot of them. And if I don't, if he's not on the show, they would be at this point really disappointed. So what happens is I, I go, I, you know, I brought, I got this dog. I do this bit on, on the, having this long haired chihuahua. And then I go, I brought him. Do you want to see him? And they go, yeah. And then he runs out. And what we've done is there's a little microphone stand holding a microphone right next to my big one right and he runs right out there up to the microphone and we've rubbed luncheon meat on the on the 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 microphone so he goes up and he puts his face right there because he can smell the luncheon meat (laughs) and the crowd is looking at him and i'm standing behind mike my mic and the dog standing behind his mic and then there's silence and i go what you think he can fucking talk (laughs) (laughs) that's it that's the whole joke that's the whole joke that's all it is That's (laughs) that's good (laughs) <laughs> uh, do you have a website or anything like that where yeah I went with uh, jeremyhots.com you can I follow me uh, I went with <laughs> you can follow me uh, <laughs> you can follow me on uh, they Instagram were giving them out and I chose at, oh uh, at Jeremy Hots it's just, if you put in at Jeremy Hots you'll find me at any, on all the things I had no difficult finding, difficulty <laughs> yeah. finding yeah, yeah, I know. and then you quickly erased everything in that way <laughs> yeah <laughs> I know <laughs> this was a lot of fun you guys are great I had a lot of fun on the show I know it's hard to see me having fun because it seems like always so depressing, but it's, I actually had a good time. This lifted, slightly lifted my spirits. I'm okay. You know, I'm just going to go to the drugstore and get some medication and I'll be all right. You know? I hope you come back sometime. No, I think I've got a minute left to live. But the thing is, <laughs> I'm not buying any green bananas, I'll tell you that. All right, well, check out Jeremy Hotz and all the places he told you. You're on the social media. We did that too, right? Yes. All right. Uh, That's what we got going on there. Mrs. Ryan, what do we have tomorrow? Uh, Dave Bassock's tomorrow. Oh, he's good. He's not Jeremy Hotz. He's way better. He's a car guy. Yeah, he's way. He knows how to drive. Tell tell Jay, and then he won't put me on a show again. I don't have to do it because I know nothing about cars. (laughs) I can't wait to watch you, Jay Leno's Garage. And that's, by the way, what I'm going to put on your thing. It's going to be Jeremy Hotz, Jay Leno's Garage. I did. You, you, You haven't seen it. You're going to actually like it you're gonna laugh
Uh, tomorrow, yes, we have Dave Basick of uh, Project 944, and we're going to hear all about that. It's sort of a father fun st- father son story. Mm-hmm. Wow, about that should be good. Yeah, Mrs. Ryan, I love you so very much. Richard wow. Chasler, thank you so very much for being here today and for all of your help with everything else. Read the manual. <laughs> Jeremy Hotz, we love you, brother. Thank I don't, you. I don't know what's going on with you inside that noggin of yours, but I tell you, we oh, love what's on the outside. That's good. Oh, on the outside. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what's going on in the inside, so I can't tell you what I feel about it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we might get there today. Nobody's ever I said that you, about, like about on the outside about you me. You don't You're seem to like guy. your outside. Well, I like it a lot. Because most people look at my face and go, <laughs> <laughs> And with that deflection, it's time to end. <laughs> we love everybody at home. Okay, Please love one another. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gotta take.